a sleep state, dismissed as simply dreams, except that they didn't fit the hazy quality of dreams. They were much too vivid and real to be so classified. Any in equivocation, they will survive physical death. You can understand what I mean by profound if you'll think about how such knowledge, not belief, hope, faith, would affect your life. That you are indeed more than your physical body. That you do indeed survive physical death. Think about just knowing that. Just those two as no ones, absolutely. No conditions or complications. Story has it that as we go through life, we really don't change. We just become more of the same.
It's sort of like a gelatin taken out of a mold. For a while, it retains the shape of it. Then as it warms up, it becomes soft around the edges. And finally, it becomes a liquid or a glob, or, say, a more convenient form, such as a teardrop, which is my favorite. Of course, you can reconstitute yourself back into your physical human shape just by thinking about it. The second body is extremely plastic. You can make it into any shape you want. You can stretch it like an incredible rubber band, release it, and it'll snap back into a central mass. So you have a tendency to fold up or melt arms and legs into the mass.